Studying pharmacology is tough. We make it easier by taking difficult drug names like griseofulvin, which sounds similar to grizzly, to make a comical character to help you ace that test. Let's go! Today, we will go over different types of antifungals and examples within each class. To remind you of this are the giant mushrooms along the back of the picture. In this scene, the amphibian monster has trapped prisoners in these holes. Luckily for them, their friends have come to save them. In this picture, there are four main classes of antifungals, as well as some other commonly used antifungal drugs. First up are the polyenes, of which the most commonly used one is amphotericin. The amphibian with tears represents this. Amphibian tears, amphotericin. Next up are the imidazoles, represented by the middle hole. These drugs end in azole, which sounds similar to ahole. The key is ketoconazole. The microphone is myconazole, and the cloth is clotrimazole. Another class are the triazoles, represented by the triangular hole. The thermometer with the flu is fluconazole, the train track is itraconazole, and the vortex is voriconazole. Next up are the echinocandins. An example is caspofungin, represented by caspo. The fungally ghosts. Some other commonly used antifungals include griseofulvin, terbinafine, and flucytosine. Grizzly is griseofulvin, the wind turbine is terbinafine, and the thermometer representing the flu with a stub toe is flucytosine. Alright, folks, that's it for this video. To learn more about visual mnemonics and antifungal drugs, including mechanisms of action and side effects, please check out our website at visuallearner.net. Happy studying!